Well, hello and welcome, um, dear YouTube viewers. Oh, this is an intro that I'm actually recording at the end of the day. Uh, yeah, I came out today to fly my tiny drone. The weather didn't let me fly my tiny drone. Did I leave anything here? No. So this is going to be a video where everything goes wrong basically. This is one of those days of flying FPV that that are definitely the worst days and the days that I don't wish to anyone. Yep. Yeah, so it's uh, this video is about these days when Everything goes as wrong as it can. I mean, without, without losing a drone. That's important, so... Everything goes as wrong as it can without losing a drone. Uh, it's just a day where, at the end of the day, you really say, oh, I wish I would have stood home instead of coming out. But well, this is a hobby like this, and... <laughs> and well, it's just like life. Sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down, and my oh, my camera trip was just hanging from my hand now, and it's quite heavy. That's a good uh, good workout. So yeah, this is this video is just uh, kind of like a proof, a reminder that it's not always just enjoyment, fun, and good times. Sometimes it's Sometimes it just sucks to do this. Yeah, I've got to clean this now. Yeah, I pretty much wasted this afternoon and and I didn't get anything out of it, didn't get any enjoyment out of it other than walking in the nature, which I like, but <laughs> yeah, it's one of those sad days, unfortunately. Well, yeah, so here's the video. Another day, another chance to fly some drones. Uh, oh, wow, this is a nice area. I've never been here before. Yeah, it just caught me off guard. Yeah, so... Yeah, first of all, uh, thank you for everybody who watched my last video, commented on it and uh, subscribed to my channel. Uh, basically, <laughs> I uploaded that video and uh, in the last 12 days or so, 12, 13 days, something like that, my subscriber count has uh, doubled. And and yeah, the video did uh, really, really good. So I was thinking maybe this uh, kind of like vlog uh, format is better to do and uh, and have actual views and interest from people because like yeah why would I <laughs> why would I make videos if no one watches them I mean they are a good memory for myself or something yeah so today I was going to come out and uh, try the draw shark in a more freestyle environment with uh, gates and stuff but then nature came and it said huge wind so yeah, it's, it's way too windy to try it out at the location I wanted to, so I looked around at the map in the area and uh, I'm heading to a little like foresty area next to a public footpath I'm walking on now. I have no idea what's waiting uh, for me there as uh, there was no pictures on Google or I couldn't find anything about it really, but we will see. Yeah, well, I read my destination, <laughs> the unmarked uh, little square on Google Maps where there seemed to be nothing. Well, there's a little graveyard here, so yeah, I know there are some of those people on YouTube who would come and fly here. I'm trying to be more considerate to the, to the people, the relatives of the people who rest here, so I'm just gonna carry on on this footpath and, and see if uh, I found some other 
drone guys here. Yeah, that's a heron. You got it, drone guys. Heron, can heron, anyone? And there it is, a red robin. I wish I had my bigger camera with my telephoto lens here. I really like photographing birds. Oh, goodbye. Yeah, so well, that wasn't a really successful walk. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go to another location. I'm gonna check out the place I originally... Or, ah, well, I can't speak. So, check out the place where I originally wanted to fly. See if it's uh, way too windy or if it's bearable. This is the place where I used to fly my drone all the time when I started out with the hobby. Uh, recently I haven't been here as a couple of months ago, the last few times I checked there was a horse uh, left out here like a pony. And uh, yeah, yeah, I met its owner, he's a nice guy, he's bringing him water and stuff. Uh, it's a really friendly horse, but I just rather don't, don't wanna disturb the horse with my drone. So yeah, I haven't been checking in the last couple of months because of this. So let's see if the horse is still here. I can already see the horse. So our horse is still here, which means I will I will walk longer and further and go to another spot on this same path later. Another half a mile of walk. Oh, if I can make it, then I just see what's waiting, what's ahead of me. <laughs> yeah, so well, this is what's been ahead of me. Uh, yeah, that's the road leading up to my destination. And, uh, well, I think we can call this a lake now. <laughs> Yeah, I've been here a lot of times and, uh, oh yeah, by the way, the, there's a horse in the distance, the pony. So, yeah, it goes all the way down there and it goes all the way the other side, so, yeah, we even have some tenants on the lake. Yeah, some, some upper force really doesn't want me to to fly my drones today, I think. <laughs> I just found this small little bumblebee. Where is it? Do I have the camera on? Yeah, I'm not sure what happened to him, but he doesn't seem to be in a, in a good shape now. But let's leave them alone. Hey. So the way the nature is alive and I see all of these animals I haven't seen for the last couple of months are uh, clear indicators that uh, spring is here, that drone season is back. <sighs> well, <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm just walking around for an hour now trying to find a place to actually fly the drone. Wait, actually, what if I just make a camp here and and try to fly the tiny drone here, what, what could go wrong? <clears throat> Foreshadowing. Yeah, what could go wrong, <laughs> really? Yeah, I'll give it a go. It's a bit windy here. It's a bit windy. Uh, there's a lot of, lot of places where the drone can get caught. Hundreds, thousands of branches, but uh, yeah, I'll give it a go, why not? Yeah, I was still looking around for a better place. Okay, so here we are. I'm all set up. I got the little drasher. No, camera, come on. Camera! 
I hate the tracking. Let me just turn it off. Ah. Okay, so as I went to recover the drone, uh, I cannot just shut off at some point, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to if I'll be able to recover. I'm just gonna sync the camera with the drone. So I went to the to recover the drone and my camera just turned off and I'm not really sure why and I'm not really sure if it recovered the data or not. So when I turned it back on it said like uh, there's damage file on, there's damage the file on the memory card, do you want to recover it or not? I said yeah that's sure, let's recover it, but, uh, but that that's about it. <laughs> so yeah I didn't check it, I will find out uh, when I get home. So let's try to fly again, let's hope we don't crash uh, this time and I can actually go inside the trees and stuff. Inside the trees, thank you. The main problem is that uh, okay, I don't like this at all. First of all let's turn off air mode. So the drone won't freak out if I collide with things. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Another problems. Yep. I just can't see the three branches until I'm too close to them. Okay, so it seems like we are still on the first battery and this is the third uh, start of the flight. And that's uh, way too dark. Why is it so dark? Is it getting so... Oh, that's way too bright. Yeah. So, third uh, flight, third takeoff, still the first battery. Yeah, I will eventually get used to it or just uh, change location, have a little walk around. Came out with uh, 20 batteries, that's uh, 12 batteries for the tiny drones and uh, 8 batteries for my bigger drones. So 8 4S and uh, 12 uh, 1S batteries. Uh, I think I was way over... Uh, uh, ah. It's just the field of view. The field of view on this drone is so, so small. It's incredibly small. Okay, it's not incredibly small, like, if anybody ever tried to fly the Darwin FPV drones with the actual cameras that they come with and they know they know what is a in small field of view just a little cruising it's time to turn around as my signal is getting quite bad both my ELR signal both my video signal and I have to set that low battery notification down to like 3.3 volts because we all know that these little one has drones ok I'm just gonna take it away, yeah it's still 3.60 climbing probably around uh, 3.7 volts oh. I think I can take it from there oh yeah I can it's all good. <laughs> no? Can I take it from here? No. Oh yeah, I can actually. Oh no, I got it stuck. Again. Yeah, so when you get stuck and your drone doesn't want to fly, never ever uh, try to throttle out and make it move like that because 
sometimes there's a little dust that's getting into the motor like in this case one of these propellers wasn't spinning and that's why it didn't take off and there was just a piece of dust I just had to rotate it and I can't believe this I lost another screw after the first flight so my last video I lost the screw not this one it was one of the end ones I replaced it I tightened all the screws and I lost another one now great oh and actually the others are coming out the whole motor is completely wobbly wow look at this something you might wanna be aware of if you own one of these drones now I have to replace that screw well look at this Oh, oh, come on camera, focus on what I want you to focus, yeah. I wouldn't call this safe. <laughs> wow, the focus tracking is really good on this camera. As I move it around the screen, it just literally moves as I move the drone, i never seen her. I mean, I never seen, I never had a camera with this good focus tracking though. The guys at Sony really made this work perfectly. Yeah, so I need one more screw, which should be in here. Yeah, so now I know if I'm, I'm gonna fly this uh, little draw shark. I know every time I have to check the screws and and tighten them just in case. I mean, if I don't want to lose the the drone. Yeah, ready to fly again. I'm on full battery. I start recording. Literally, like 20 seconds later, the camera turns off, and it's a compact camera, so it doesn't even causes its lenses or anything. It just screen goes black full battery, camera goes off, so, and it's not a cheap camera, it's not a cheap camera at all, I'm a little bit pissed off at this, I will have to figure out what's going on here, wow, yeah, so I gave up on the tiny drones and I moved locations, out here to the windy parts, to the open and uh, it's time to fly my 3.5 inch uh, freestyle drone yeah uh, this isn't what I this isn't what I planned for today but uh, well it seems like this is what I have so yeah let's turn this on okay so Let's try this one then. Yeah, this one handles the wind a lot better. I mean, obviously. Still not perfect though. But it's definitely a lot, lot better. I got some strange scan lines that I usually don't. What I'm thinking about is uh, there's like just in the middle of the screen you can see there's like uh, some uh, radio towers. I'm not sure what they are, uh, what kind of radio signals they are transmitting. But I believe this is the reason why my BTS is so strange. Oh, hi, magpies. Hello, magpies. I love magpies. I really don't want to crash my drone around here. 
I had some really dirty recoveries here. Oh! Okay, it's a different, different kind of noise than the tiny whoop. Or tiny whoop, what is it? The tiny toothpick. I think I crashed into that tree before. And I did it on video. And because it's still quite cold out here, I'm already getting the low battery warnings when my battery cell gets, uh, well, less than ideal. I'm so glad I worked out what was the problem with this drone. So like a couple of months ago, like probably half a year ago now, uh, this drone started to have like connection problems, ELRS uh, connection problems, and I couldn't figure out why. And I just left it. So like basically I tried the 5 volt. No! No, I disarmed! And I, then I rearmed in the water. I have to run. Yeah, so I guess today's video title is The whole world is against me. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> well, thank you for watching this video. Oh, I think the walnut camera just uh, drained. Yeah. Shit. I don't have anything to clean myself with, which is gonna be fun because I have to pack away all my stuff, including this. Ah. Uh, yeah. The whole world is against me. Some upper power doesn't want me to fly my drones today. I mean, I was just stupid. I'm this. I disarmed while I was flying. Now this keeps complaining to me. The camera. Oh my god! I never got my drone this dirty before. This is disgusting. Well, it was time to take it apart and clean it from the outside, like in the electronics and stuff. So I guess that's it. So today was the most unsuccessful uh, droning day ever since I'm flying my drones. Uh, literally, I wasted like probably three hours of my life recording this video. I've flown zero batteries fully. I'm probably not even in focus, so I'm gonna put my hand here because this is where my focus point is on the camera. This is where I was laying earlier. Actually, I'm just gonna lay down, it's easier. So... <laughs> well... There are days like this, and there are better days than... Uh, thanks for watching, and... Oh, now I touched into the... Nettle as well. I literally pushed my hand into the nettle and I got stung by the nettle on my whole hand here. <laughs> yeah. Well, this isn't my day. Um, I'm eager to see what other troubles waiting for me on my way home. Thank you for watching this video and uh, well, see you next time.